Hey guys, welcome to Technoland. This is a quick video looking at the difference between untrimmed surfaces and trimmed surfaces. The difference between these has a lot of implications about how we build geometry and how we create our structures. And it, and it crops up a lot with my coaching clients. I thought this video would be quite helpful just so it can clear up some of the confusion between the two. So we're, we're going to use this project, which is the CCTV Tower uh, by Oli Shireen, um, as our kind of base, because it has this real complex geometry that where we have to be using trimmed services really to create this geometry. So the script for this is available on the Coding of Form website or the Coding of Form library. Um, so you can get access to the high-res PNG and there is a walkthrough available uh, if you actually want to go through in this uh, this project in a lot of detail. Um, but just to quickly click through the logic so we can understand where this has uh, come from. This first half is really just about creating the base geometry. Um, so we're creating a base rectangle. We are um, creating a essentially a giant pyramid because the sides of the CCTV are all inclined. Um, to the same degree. So we have to start with uh, basically a volume like this. We're creating a bottom volume, um, or two different volumes essentially, that we are going to um, boolean and remove out of this main pyramid. And then we also have a split plane at the top. And these are really the three pieces of geometry that we use to cut and split and to get to our final piece of geometry, or the final form of the building. And, um, and yeah, this is obviously all this is all fully parametric, so we, we have full control over the, um, the geometry of this. We can change the angle of the, uh, of the pyramid. So, um, so yeah, there's lots of control over the form. But the reason I'm using this as, a, as an example project is because it leads us to a really annoying problem. Because what we, want to get, we want to be able to panel this. You know, we want to put facade panels. We obviously want horizontal floor plates and horizontal lines. Um, but by the virtue of what we've done to get to this form, we are going to be left with, what are, with what's known as untrimmed surfaces. And this is all because of this uh, solid difference, basically removing these, um, these volumes from the, uh, the main pyramid surfaces. So untrimmed versus trimmed surfaces. The pyramid boolean, we can um, explode this and we're just going to find one side of this. And so you can imagine this is a, well, or, or logically what we assume, uh, or how we think, is that when we, um, when we take a volume, a full volume like this, and we remove out these sections, uh, this is really one single panel. And we could quite easily panel this with our, um, you know, with, with something like Lunchbox. So we have this quad paneling tools here. But what happens, and, um, and I'll explain this um, by explaining what untrimmed surfaces are, is that when we actually think, okay, we're going to try and panel this, what happens, it reverts back to the original um, surface that this was taken from the untrimmed surface. So if I take my pyramid, I'm just going to find that surface. Um, and again, we can, you know, quad panel this. This, you know, this makes sense. We have, you know, 15 divisions in the Y, 15 divisions in the V. To understand, I mean, we need to kind of understand a little bit about surface topology. So we're going to look at the um, main pyramid first, just so we can explain really what untrimmed surfaces are first and their properties and how we actually can use them more to our advantage. So all I'm going to do is take this pyramid, I'm going to extract one of the faces, just one of the faces, and we're going to throw in this quad panels. This, so this is quad panels from the Lunchbox plugin. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we can throw this in and we can you know, divide this up based on you know, this, this U division value. Um, and so we have two inputs here because, uh, known as the U and the V. And this is basically the, the divisions that we have in the U and the V. Um, and so just to explain a little bit about the topology of surfaces and the properties of surfaces, right, every valid untrimmed surface will have two directions. And this is essentially a coordinate system over that surface. So we have the U direction um, along the bottom and the V direction up the side. Uh, the surface obviously has a dimension. You know, in this case, it's 0 to 100 in both the U and V. So it's a, it's a square surface. When we're working with reparameterized geometry, we will reset or normalized geometry. 
we'll reset the domain of that surface um, for, to be undisturbed between zero and one. And this is really important for a lot of things in parametric design. So along the U, we'll have um, our domain is now not zero to 100 because we re-parameterize it. Um, it'll be zero to one instead. And the same up the V. And uh, same up the V direction. Uh, there is, uh, so you know, we could add a coordinate to this as well. So 0.5, um, and 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will be the precise center of the surface panel. And so this is important because when we, when we do normalized geometry, we can understand any surface to be between zero and one. So even the shape of the surface, you know, uh, even, even this radial surface could still be understood to be a rectangle. Zero, you know, if we, if we slowly rotate this around, this, you know, we understand this as a rectangle. Obviously, it's still curved but it's a rectangle, if we keep going, um, eventually our zero um, and one points will be in the same location. And so this is, it's just important to understand that we, um, yeah, we, that, that surface topology is the same regardless um, of the shape of the surface itself. So with that in mind, we could imagine that, um, uh, if I just draw on screen a, another version of this, uh, if we started with our rectangular um, facade surface, we would have zero in the corner, one along here, and this is the U direction, uh, and one at the top here, and this is the V direction. So what has happened is at the top here, basically our um, points have just basically been moved in, and we have a pyramid instead, or a triangle instead, sorry. So the only difference is this it, um, in this is that the, between the U and the V right at the top, we, they, the U and the V uh, points, the zero and one points, are in exactly the same place. So it doesn't matter if this is rectangular, it doesn't matter if it's curved, it, this quad panels is always going to split this um, surface up uh, like this. Um, and it will be an even split um, uh, divided perfectly in the U and the V for every direction. So for this reason, well, this is why working with untrimmed surfaces is really, really helpful. Um, and if we can define our geometry from untrimmed surfaces, this really helps us with like paneling and, 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 a, lot of different and a lot of different structures. So this uh, is really all here to explain the, what, what, our, what our problem is and the problem that we've created, created for ourselves. Because unfortunately, we, this is not where we stopped. You know? We're not creating a giant uh, panelized pyramid. We're creating this complex shape. So if I do the exact same logic, and I am going to uh, find this side again, and we would, we would have thought, like, the logic would, um, you know, um, would lead us to believe that this is one surface. Um, it has been, uh, we've trimmed out this whole section uh, at the bottom. We've trimmed out the whole section at the top. Um, so that these pieces of information are gone. You know, we, we, we have, uh, we've essentially taken our piece of paper, our, our big triangle, and we've removed sections from it. And, you know, we can't stick this back together again. That information is, is not there. This is what we would logically uh, assume. But this is not the case. Um, because with an, uh, the trimmed surfaces technically is just a preview of the original surface but with those sections removed. So, and I can prove this, that it's, a, that it's just a preview, of this, because if we rebuild this surface, so all this information is, you know, in, in theory, looks like it's gone, but we can rebuild this surface and go back to the original untrimmed surface. So you think, okay, well, we just removed all these sections out, but actually that information is not lost. It's still there. It's actually, the trimmed surface is really just a preview of, of what was there. So then when we, we're, this is where we get our problem, because when we try to panelize our trimmed surface, we're thinking, ah, yeah, we're just going to throw some rectangular panels over this surface. When we do the exact same quad panels from Lunchbox, we, uh, the, the quad panel is going to rebuild the surface uh, to the, you know, the previous triangular full panel, and then it's going to panelize this. So this is why working with trim surfaces is a bit of a pain because we're, you know, we, are, we only actually want panels in this location. But actually it's rebuilding the panel first and then applying the divisions. So, so this, this is the major difference between trimmed and untrimmed surfaces. A trimmed surface is really is just a preview of, um, 
of, of the untrimmed surface without a few sections in it. So having a good understanding of you know, surface parameters and, and how we actually break them up and their topology um, is really helpful when we're trying to do things like this. Um, I mean, in, in general, this script is an, an, a process, a workflow, let's say, of paneling this real non-uniform object. It's, uh, you know, it's quite painful. I mean, the way I went through it is essentially we're creating diamond panels and quad panels, and I use the untrimmed surface to be able to create all the panels. And then I'm just removing and deleting, and I'm just taking the ones that align to our surface. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to, it's really because of this top cut. And I obviously want floor plates to be all horizontal. Um, I'm, I'll quickly explain um, what would happen if we were using the untrimmed surface for this. So I'm just gonna bake uh, this panel. So say for instance, we, and I'm just gonna redraw a panel like this. So say, say this was our, um, Say this was our panel. Uh, I'm just going to um, reference this back into Grasshopper. Uh, set one rep. So one surface here, and we're going to do this quad panels again. So, so this this essentially is an untrimmed surface now. Um, and when we panel it, um, what's happening is it's following because of that top angle. All of my setting out um, will will not align to be horizontal. So you can see if I, uh, you know, if I turn this on, my, my horizontal lines, my lines that are dividing in the U or the V um, are, are not perfectly horizontal. Um, and it's because we've trimmed and we've cut this top first, or, or, or actually the angle is at the top, um, being put in at the top. So this is um, just, again, by virtue of, uh, of what we've had to do with all of this, all the, these beans, it's going to leave us with some annoying uh, annoying shapes to try and panel. And this really is one of the most efficient ways to do it um, because we'll have all of these irregular panels right at the top anyway. Uh, so yeah, just to talk a bit about the logic of you know why, why we would use untrimmed services like this. And it's actually quite rare um, to, well, I, f I, I feel it's actually a little bit it's more rare to be working on trim surfaces like this. Um, it's just ready for this project that it becomes, uh, it becomes an issue. So yes, I mean, final takeaway, untrimmed surface can be understood from zero to one in both its U and its V direction, whereas a trimmed surface had some sections removed out of it. Those sections are technically not lost. This is just a preview of what it looks like without them. So we can always rebuild and go back to the original surface, should we wish. I hope that was helpful. Uh, please leave some comments or let me know if there's anything else that you would like to know about in Grasshopper. Um, so yes, thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next videos.